You've learned some basic SQL syntax and you're ready to start coding. So where should you write your SQL queries? Alice Zhao here from Maven Analytics. And in this video, I'll walk you through four different places where you can write SQL code. You have a ton of options when it comes to picking a place to write SQL code. One of the interesting things about SQL compared to other languages is that many companies have created software that can read and execute SQL code, and they all do so in slightly different ways, but the majority of the concepts and syntax is very similar. The most basic place that you can write SQL code is within an RDBMS. That stands for Relational Database Management System. Here we've listed five different software options that are really popular. The first three are open source, meaning that they're free to use, and the last two are proprietary, meaning that you have to pay to use them. So for the open source options, you have MySQL, which is often used alongside other web development languages. You have Postgres, which is often used alongside other machine learning tools. There's SQLite, which is a really basic RDBMS. It doesn't have as many features as some of these other options, but it comes pre-installed on a Mac, and it's a really quick install on a PC. As for your proprietary options, Oracle and SQL Server, they both have a lot more functionality, which is why they cost money, but you'll often see them used at large organizations. Now, if you're not sure which one of these to use, the first question you should ask yourself is which one of these do I have access to? Whichever one your company's using, you might as well go ahead and learn that flavor of SQL. That said, 90% plus of the things we'll be covering this course will work in all these RDBMSs. And then whenever there are differences between the software, We'll mention it in those particular sections. Now, at this point, you might be wondering, what does it actually look like to code in an RDBMS? So we're gonna be going through a quick demo right now of MySQL specifically, just to show you what that looks like, and then we'll come right back to these slides. Right now, I've opened up the terminal on my Mac. You can also open up the command prompt on your PC. And then from here, you can use MySQL. So what I'm gonna do is say MySQL, and then I'm gonna sign in with my username, which is root. And then at this point, I'm in MySQL. And then from here, I can specifically connect to a database. So I'm gonna to connect to the Maven Advanced SQL database. And then I can also view all the tables within the database. So you can see my list of tables here. And now I can write a SQL query. So I'm gonna select all from the products table. And then you can see here is my products table within my terminal window. So the main takeaway here is that you can write SQL code within this really basic interface. Again, this is called the terminal on a Mac or it's called the command prompt on a PC. Okay, now that you know what an RDBMS looks like, let's move on to some SQL editors. Hey there, if you're enjoying this tutorial, just so you know, it's actually a part of my full 13 hour advanced SQL querying course at Maven Analytics. So if you want more hands-on practice and full length lessons, check out the link in the description below. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. Now the main difference between a SQL editor and an RDBMS is that a SQL editor will have a nice graphical user interface. In other words, you're gonna be able to drag and drop and double click on things instead of writing all your code within a terminal or a command prompt. Again, you have some open source options as well as proprietary options. Let's start with MySQL Workbench. That's something that works directly with MySQL. So from the user standpoint, you're gonna see this really nice graphical user interface. And on the back end, it's using MySQL to run your SQL queries. There's also PG Admin, which is the graphical user interface for Postgres. And then you have options like dBeaver, which is open source and it allows you to work with multiple different RDBMSs. So within dBeaver, you can choose to connect to MySQL, Postgres, SQLite, and much more. And then for your proprietary options, you have SQL Server Management Studio, which connects directly with SQL Server. And then Toad is a popular option, which will connect to Oracle, as well as other RDBMSs. Now we're gonna dive into a quick demo just so you can see the difference between an RDBMS and a SQL editor. Here, I've opened up my SQL Workbench. So this is using the same SQL engine that you saw in the last demo, but instead of just typing text now, we can double click on things. So I'm gonna double click into the Maven Advanced SQL Schema. And from here, I can write some SQL queries. So the first thing I wanna do is say, I want to use the Maven Advanced SQL Schema, or in other words, I wanna access all the tables in the Maven Advanced SQL database. And then I can run that by doing a command enter shortcut. And then next I can view a table. So I'm gonna select all from products once again. And to run this, instead of using the shortcut, you can also click this execute button up here. And with that, you get this nice output table here that you can interact with. 
So for example, I can click on product name and then you can see here, this is now sorted. So this MySQL Workbench SQL Editor provides me a much better place to write SQL code. Now that you've seen both demos, I hope it's clear to you that an RDBMS is where your SQL code is executed, and then a SQL Editor is a user-friendly place to write your SQL code. So for this course, we recommend that you pick an RDBMS and a SQL Editor, and with that, you should be able to follow along and complete the assignments. Now there are two other shout outs I'd like to make before we complete this lesson. First is other programming languages. Because SQL is such a great supporting language, there have been a lot of packages created for connecting Python and SQL, R and SQL, and so on. And if you install one of those packages, that allows you to write SQL within these other languages. And that's really helpful for, let's say you're in Python and you're trying to connect to a SQL database, you can import the package and write SQL code directly within your Python code. And finally, I wanted to give a shout out to online SQL editors. So while this may not be the best place to write SQL code, if you wanna get started as fast as possible with no installations, you can also search online for online SQL editor and that will allow you to write SQL code within some web browsers. And those are four places where you can write SQL code. If you're looking for more ways to level up your SQL skills, check out our self-paced courses, guided projects and portfolio showcase at Maven Analytics and create your personalized learning plan for free. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more data content just like this. See you in the next one.